Blanca Cobb and I were talking ways that words you say reveal more than you mean. So Blanca is showing us by analyzing an interview between Piers Morgan and Ozzy Osbourne on Good Morning Britain. Piers asked questions about Ozzy's affairs during his marriage to his wife Sharon. So Blanca, let's jump right in. You have analyzed another statement that Ozzy made. What did you see? All right, let's show you on the screen. There's going to be a statement that he says. He said when he was talking about the women. He said, I didn't love any of these people. So you have to think about why would he use the word people, people. okay, instead of women. When you use the word people, then you're hiding the identity, right, mm -hmm. of who he was with. And then also it lets us know that each individual woman who he was with was unimportant. So unimportant that they're just people. When you, and look, this is a true statement. So not only can it be indicative that someone's hiding something, possibly lying to you, but even truthful people will use some of these words because maybe they don't want to bring it to somebody's attention. They want to minimize it. Make it not as important. Not as important. You don't want to continue to have that humiliation and embarrassment. Okay, so there is a last statement of Aussies that you are saying two words that are revealing. Yes, talking about the affair to Pierce Morgan Pierce Morgan asked him, like, tell me about your regrets. So one thing that Ozzy said is that thing with all the women, I really regret that. Two things here, the word that and the word thing. So the word that implies distance. That book, that camera, this book, this camera. Distance. It's a way to distance yourself from what you have done. The other thing is, the other word is thing. That's a non-descriptive word. Uh -huh. It's a way not to highlight or to accentuate affairs. That thing, it also minimizes, you know, it's just a thing. So those are ways that people will hide or minimize what is really happening in their life. Look, this is important in everyday life if you think about it. So going back to the previous statement, mm -hmm. if your husband or your wife says, yeah, I'm going to go out with colleagues after work. Great, that's probably a true statement, colleagues, but who are the colleagues and why wouldn't they tell you the names of the colleagues? You have to think about that. Mm -hmm. If someone's like, we just got back from the gym. All right, great. Who's we? Yeah. You have to think. Sometimes it can be innocent and sometimes it's not innocent. So really think about the words you're using or others are telling you. Absolutely. And don't jump the gun. People will automatically go, oh, you use the word thing. I know it means you're lying. No, not necessarily ask questions, non-threatening questions to get to the truth. All right, Blanca, thank you so much. Of course, if you want to continue this conversation, head over to her Facebook page, give her a like and write.